Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today we are going to do this lavender colored eye. This was requested for me to do by one of you for an Easter look and this is what I came up with. It was kind of tough for me to decide what to use but I wanted to make sure that what I did was affordable. So I went through my collection and I started looking and I ultimately decided to go with the Violets by Juvia's Place and as you can see this is what we did and we used three shades. We used that one, we used this one, and we used that one to create this eye. So if you want to see how I did that, just keep watching. Just taking it in that lilac shade and let's apply a little bit of this. I haven't used Juvia's for a little bit. They're typically pretty pigmented. So, but as you can see, this kind of a brush, this really fluffy kind of a brush is like going to apply the lightest amount of pigment. And so we can just kind of test this out here and see what we think, whether we like that or not. That's really pretty. We'll lay this in and then I'll take a brush that will lay more pigment and then we'll bring it in darker. But I just wanna Lay it in lightly for our transition. Now I'm gonna take the E35, which comes in your Glitzy Fritzy Essential Eye Set. Same color, I just wanna show you how much more pigmented it will look. I'm gonna put that in the crease too, um, with a more dense brush. See how that just, of course I'm way back here on this brush because I don't want to get too much of this in here. But as you can see, it applies it more concentrated in case you don't understand why there are so many different kinds of blending brushes. They all do different things, see? Let's come into this shade right here in the lower left, all across the lid. And we're going to just take this lightly across the entire lid. I like it, I like it a lot. Of course, you know I will intensify this in some way right here because that's what I do. And I just wanna use it right there. That's that same color, but concentrated here in the tear duct, it looks a little bit different, doesn't it? It's beautiful. Oh yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna take the darkest purple shade. I'm gonna get it right on the end of this brush here. And I'm gonna come right out here and right there on the outside corner of my eye. And I'll work my way up. There we go. You knew I wasn't going anywhere until I took my pinky and intensified that right there in the middle, right? And I'm gonna take this on this brush. And you know what I could do is, because this brush is so little, I could come right here in my tight line and it don't hurt at all. Because there's water in my tight line, it kind of makes a eyeliner. See how easy that is. You remember I told you I love the 03. I'm gonna keep that out here. I do love the 03, but uh, the 29, this is something that when I first looked at it, I was like, oh my gosh, really? I mean, there's nothing to it. But that nothing to it is what makes it really special and lets me do that, what I just did. I'm gonna get that light purple again. I'm just gonna come here and bring it on the inside of my eye. That's really pretty. I'm going to use that shade of purple that we used in the transition. Just right here where I left off with the brightest shade that's on the lid. And then the darkest shade 
right out here. Bring that up just a tiny bit so it looks like a line. Is there for a cat eye or something? But I mean, not enough that people are gonna be like, what the heck? All right, let's get some mascara on. I hope you enjoyed this look. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. It helps with my engagement and for YouTube to show me. If they think that you care, they'll show me to somebody else, <laughs> all right? I want you guys to know and always remember you're the best part of the Fritzy family. And if you're not having a blessed day, just go out and be a blessing to somebody else. And until next time, love you, see ya, bye. And I'm out. Here comes Mary's cottontail, hopping down the makeup trail. Hippity hoppity, poking out your socket. <laughs> Do you hear the dog? How does the dog go? <laughs> How does the cat go? Meow. How does the horse go? <laughs> I'm doing a C and say. <laughs> you had kids with a C and say, right? Okay, well, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm going to pick up, pick, 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 pick. Pick a pig. Peter Piper picked a pick a pick of peppers. If Peter Piper picked a pick a pick of peppers, where's the pick a pick of peppers Peter Piper picked? Huh. That wasn't too bad. Peter Piper picked a pick a pick of peppers. If Peter Piper picked a pick a pick of peppers, start over. Peter Piper picked a pick a pick of peppers. If Peter Piper picked a pick a pick of peppers, where's the pick a pick of peppers Peter Piper picked? And that is so much easier to do when you jump up and down. Betty Bar, Betty Bar. See shell, see shell. See shell, see shell. Here's an. Do you like that? Do you like making circles? Yeah, as opposed to making squares. <laughs> it's the circle of shadow, and I'm making up a song, and nobody can say it's wrong, because I totally made it up. Ooh, mush these together, kind of marry them up here. I now pronounce you muddy. <laughs> Do you hear the birds? Hear the birds. Hear the birds. I know it's supposed to be feed the birds, but it ain't got no food, dang it. So you're just gonna have to hear them. <laughs>